Hello, I'm Commander Exegius. Part of our series on engineering blueprints for core internals, today we'll look at blueprints for both life support and sensors. These core modules offer us several blueprint choices, but no experimental effects, making their engineering choices a bit easier. Life support offers us three blueprint choices, reinforced, shielded, and the very popular lightweight. Starting with reinforced, this increases our integrity by a huge 300%, at the cost of nearly equally large 150% mass increase. Similarly, Shielded offers us the same 300% integrity increase at the expense of a doubling of power usage, allowing you to pick which negative effect works best for your build. Finally, we have Lightweight, which reduces the mass by 85% at the cost of 50% integrity. This is a great choice for most builds, specifically combat and exploration where mass is a detriment. One quick note about life support. The module size dictates the amount of emergency oxygen available from 7.5 minutes for D-rated to 25 minutes for A-rated. For many builds, this is somewhat irrelevant as you can easily synthesize additional oxygen using just iron and nickel. This is, however, important for combat builds using ship launch fighters as they are reliant on functioning life support to deploy. Next, we have sensors, which offers us lightweight, long range, and wide angle. Lightweight can be an excellent choice for speed and exploration ships as it lowers our mass by 80% while also lowering our integrity 50% and scan angle 25%. The long range blueprint increases our range by 75% at the cost of a 30% reduction in scan angle and a considerable doubling of mass. Given the already high mass of sensors, this can be a significant impact to maneuverability and jump range. This can be a very good choice for large combat ships, such as the Anaconda or Corvette, as it will allow you to lock targets at up to 13 kilometers when paired with an A-class module. Finally, we have Wide Angle, which doubles the scan angle at the cost of 20% shorter range and 50% additional power draw. A possible choice for bounty hunters, this can allow you to determine a target's legal status sooner while they aren't directly in front. Hopefully this detailed analysis of sensors and life support will help you select the best blueprint for your build. Whether you're creating a speed racer or highly potent combat ship, there is a great blueprint available. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. <laughs>